conscious that that joke contains stereotypes. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is when we are unconscious of it and we think it's funny, and we don't realize that it carries certain stereotypes, yeah. and we perpetuate it in a non-comical way. Yeah. So there's a there's a there's a tension there because some would argue uh, that the joke perpetuates the stereotypes, reinforces the stereotypes, and makes it harder than to to deal with issues around stereotypes. But you're arguing that perhaps it's a way of highlighting a stereotype and, and, then, yes. and then dealing with it. Yeah. But which do you think we, in, we, we actually end up doing it in Singapore? <laughs> Again, do we end up perpetuating yeah, or do we end up dealing yeah. with it? Uh, we, we need to have both, you see. No. So if we have uh, everyone making um, racist jokes but no one is talking about racism, then that is where the problem and the imbalance is. Yeah. But if we have, uh, we know that we have stereotypical jokes, racist jokes, and it's been around for many years. Uh, but we have not been discussing about racism for many years, so maybe it's time to balance it and make people aware that in these jokes contain stereotypes, which can be uh, harmful, or maybe it can just be laughed off once we have reached a certain social intimacy between two individuals or a group. Yeah. Rashad, you want to say something? No, I wanted to say something. I mean, uh, when you mentioned about Kumar and the fact that uh, he's a minority, and you know, does it allow him to get away with whatever he's saying? I think am, I, am I guilty of stereotyping? Uh, no. <laughs> no, but I think that's the case, right? I mean, um, growing up, I mean, if you're a minority, generally you've been, you know, probably the butt of some jokes growing up, and you've been really socially, um, you know, sort of uh, inoculated to all those things that people say at you. So, which means he is in a better position, I would say, to, to break the ice and to bring this to the fore than someone who is a majority, for instance, and, and, and who doesn't know, you know, what's on the receiving end of things, and, you know, for them to say. So, Say, for instance, if a Chinese, for instance, if come out to be Chinese tomorrow, so what would the, the minority, like, you know, the Malays and the Indians uh, feel? So they can just say that, you know, we are being subjected to be jokes by the majorities. I mean, you never know, like, like, like what Adrian mentioned about, uh, you know, how people perceive it. And you know, they can be offended, and it's, it's the right to be offended. So I think being a minority for Kumar, I think he sort of gets away with it. But uh, then again, you know, uh, building on what, uh, um, you know, Adrian and, and Imran has said, uh, if you're in national service, I mean, that's always the example that I use. Um, you, I mean, you're in a bunk and, and you're together with people of different races. And, and everybody jokes. I mean, you're in a very intense situation. You're trying to, you know, all you're looking for is the booking out every weekend and then coming back in and all the training and you have to get by. So everybody picks on each other. And that's where it sort of builds the camaraderie and, 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 and sort of brings everyone of the different races together. And and no and nobody really you know, takes offense at uh, and, and, and you know, at such racial jokes. I mean, at the beginning, yes, people might feel comfortable because and not comfortable because you know, there's the first time they've probably met each other and things like that. But maybe one week, two weeks pass, everybody's cracking jokes, everybody is laughing about it, everybody is not taking offense over it. So I think the sort of exposure that you have to such circumstances or situation matters, and that builds a tolerance level, right? That sort of uh, you know gives you. Uh, in, in a higher threshold to, to be on the receiving end of jokes. And, and I think that's also a, a good way to sort of, uh, you know, um, to understand, like, like what Imran said, it's the, the stereotypes. And uh, so that's what I feel. I mean, as for Kumar, I think uh, uh, another example I've cited is Russell Peters. Mm -hmm. He's an Indian and he goes around poking fun of everybody else, you know. And he sort of gets away with it, and people love it. And people love him, you know, and, 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 the, and the jokes he cracks. So uh, I, I think it matters. I, I feel that it matters uh, you know, to be a, a minority, and, and Kumar can get away with it.